Alright, we're checking out Backbone Prologue here today. I'll have a link for you down below. This is a free download at the moment. It basically sets up the game Backbone for 2020. So this kind of gives us the entire build up to the actual game next year. I'm checking this out in particular because the pixel art, oh my goodness god. I normally go on about a well done pixel art. This is some of the best I've seen ever. If you're playing the role of a detective, it is done in uh, Vancouver, I believe. Canada. In a film noir style. Did I say that correctly? Noir? 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 It's got that French connotation to it. But um, it's definitely a very gritty, gritty game. And I figured we'd check it out here and see what's up. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Alright, so we drag around and press E to interact with stuff. So I guess um, E to pick up this bowl. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Don't want to have that around as uh, one of our potential clients shows up here. Alright. What else do we got? Living room. Uh, so we're going. Alright, so I think that's um, just about enough. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. I mean, really, that's honestly all the four rules you really do need in life when you think about it. It's particularly the last one. Alright, there we go. That must be Mrs. Green. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. Trust you've had a good, pleasant day. Mrs. Green, can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. Please, just Odette is fine. And I'd rather be discreet with this matter, that's all. Noted. What are we dealing with? I, um, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Is he cheating? That's the first thing I thought about, sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure. See, he's been acting so strange lately, and every time I try to talk to him, he gets... <sighs> but no matter. I just need proof that'll hold up in court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that a custody won't even be a question. As your husband threatened to take the children. One last thing, let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Frankly, I think that's none of your concern, Mr. Lowe. I'm just trying to see if I should help you a little bit more than usual because you might love the kids more than he does, so I'd rather you end up with the kids. But okay. <laughs> let's, let's talk case details. He's gonna act like this. Of course, anything you need, what would you like to know? Where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes nowhere else after, somewhere else after work. Occasionally, before. Now it's become more frequent. Hold up. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. What's the funny smell? Like perfume, not mine, alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Oh, I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Alright, so, um... Let's see. How do you know he's been missing work? Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's gonna get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple of times, too. Alright, that's good stuff. Now let's talk about your husband's personal details. Sure. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kinda chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jazz for short. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Mmm, any way we could pick him out of a crowd? Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a f suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for his for him today. Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Something he sometimes he hangs out with them after work. That's all I need. Now the awkward part: payment. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot riding in this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can you make that you're the right man for the job? I'm good at what I do. 
I hope so. It's very important you don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course. I'll get right on it, Odette. Talk soon. I'm a very confident dude, you know? You come to me for a particular reason, we will get this done. Alright. And we have tab, inventory, Jeremy Green photo, a picture of Odette's husband. Doesn't really strike you like a sleazy skirt chaser, doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. <laughs> Hey, you know what, man? If you weren't blessed with the best looks of all time, you gotta definitely fall back for that charisma. And I'll be honest with you, man. It's really all sometimes about your confidence out there. It's not really about your looks sometimes. It's really about your confidence how you protrude yourself out there. Female or males. Both of them. And this is what I meant. Look at this situation right here. Look at this. Look at the rain. This is freaking inc I know he's talking, but this is freaking incredible. We'll talk around here. Let me just run around here just to show you this. Look at this um, matinee thing up front, too. This is just redonkulous. So, yeah, that's the reason why when I saw that, I was like, yeah, we might want to check this out. Bike? We have a, a drive over here, a poster, at least a little bit of a reference to that. Probably some more of those that I'm missing over there. But I'm a big fan of drive, so I noticed that one immediately. All right. Squirrel. Hey, what's up, old man? Um, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, sorry. What are you, some sort of pervert? No? What are you doing here? Just hanging. What are you doing? You can say I'm hanging, too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Alright. There's nothing over here. I mean, kind of makes sense. You walk up to a random stranger, hey, have you seen this person? They might not be so, um, open about the entire situation. Anatoly. Hey, my man, where to? I'm looking for someone. You got a moment? Nah, I have no business remembering people. Want to hear a great story, man? Uh, sure, go ahead. So my wife, Fiestella, and I, we got the second land coming up soon. <laughs> That's two too many. Second, you're a lucky guy. We are, we are, and it's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, woman, you getting any bigger that I won't fit you into the trunk of a car. Uh, great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? Rude, what do you want? I'm looking for an otter named Jess who works at Wolfbank. Have you seen him recently? Pfft, I don't know. Tried looking at that bar down the street. Oh, we have a new objective, right? So I guess talking to him did work out. Have you seen him there? Now, Mr. Howie, would you let me work? You're scaring off my clients. Huh? Well, at least thanks a lot for that bit of information, Anatoly, and good luck to you and your beach ball sized wife. He's having a kid, you know? Good for him. More posters, we got a bank. So this is apparently where the boy works. Bank employee. Let's see if anybody knows anything about him. Yeah? Good evening. How you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? Eh. Is Jess around? And who are you? Oh, so you know him. A-hole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Private detective Howard Loader. When I was the last time you saw him. Let's go with the second one. First one they might want to cover for him, if they're close enough, I don't know. P.I. What did that ass hat do? Nothing. I just want to talk to him. What, he beat up his wife? Oh. Is that something he does? <laughs> Why do you think he did? Well, that bee was eating his brains out for a while now. Ah, oh, man. Why even get married, right? Do you know where he is right now? You're an a-hole, you know that? Well, we definitely want to get some information, so let's keep fishing. And with three children? What the hell is he thinking? That ugly nagger gonna leave him dry with triple alimony soon, I tell ya. Right. Did you see him today? Today? But the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Heh. <laughs> but Derek, huh? What's up with Derek? Jess owes him a hundo, that ass had. Hmm. Where do you think he headed off after work? What do you say, boys? Home to his nagging bee of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Only Ape knows. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. The bastard had it coming. Could he be with someone now? Girlfriend? If you reckon Harless is a sort of girlfriend, then sure. Could be one of them for all I know. Did you boys spend enough time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though. The bite? Could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. 
Good luck, Rack. Sure thing. Thanks for your help. All right. So he's possibly maybe at the bite. And then Atali said... The bar down the street. Oh, well, I guess if the bite's the bar, then we have two confirmations for it. This looks freaking amazing, by the way. Oh, man. I'm just... Oh, we're looking at this rain effect happening. Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Well, what do you have against raccoons, my dude? Uh, perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? A couple of loons? I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny striper man. Alright, see ya. Well, apparently um, we're not going to get in through there, that's for a fact. Hmm. My night quite fit with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. No, no, you, you weren't charming enough to get through the bouncer there. Hold shift to run. Why do we need to run? Alley? Okay. Should we go check out the alley? Why not? Larry. Hey, are you, uh, you a fellow raccoon? You look kind of raccoonish. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Um, actually a tad busy right now. Well, catch up later then. Actually, I could use your help, if you would mind. Not at all. What can I do for you? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife, who is now struggling to get a divorce. Can't tell client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Let's go with the second one. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? He is. He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Uh, just show him the photo, dude. Haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Bye. Alright, so, for now, nothing. Oh my god. Oh, my dude. <laughs> We've all been there before. Walk out of a bar not feeling too good, you just gotta go outside and let it loose. Shoot. That's Downey right there in the police boot. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Okay, so let's uh, sneak by. Stay vigilant. <laughs> not if I creep up underneath you, apparently. Alright. Not sure why we don't like Brownie, but um, we got by him. That's the important part. Mackenzie and Sons. Now, we didn't talk anything about Mackenzie and Sons. This looks freaking amazing, dude. Oh my god. Foxy Burger. And we got Bo here as well. Was there a garbage bin thing too? Well, I am a raccoon, so you know, raccoons are fairly... have a high affinity for garbage cans. Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, cigs, aha. A ticket to the bite! Yo, I think we just got ourselves a ticket to get inside. Excellent. We have Bo the Giant Rabbit. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news. Sure, shoot. For half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today is Great A Parade Preparations Underway. Celebration starts Friday. Alright, so with this ticket now, we should hopefully be able to get on in here. What? I have a ticket right here. What is this? Haha, <laughs> you're a funny little fella. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster. So, no. But thanks for a good laugh. Um, you're welcome. Can I get in? No, don't test my. Oh, come on, but I, I got the ticket, dude! Alright, so I came back to Larry and apparently I have a couple more options now that we've uh, done some things here. Hey, so what's up? Find your guy? Um, I'll be back when I see something out. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. That's the... Tough break! It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You set your guys on order? That's weird. Have any ideas I could get in? You're in luck? They're my neighbors. Let's see. They use this alley door for deliveries. Or you can ask Johnny. He know better than me. Tell me about Johnny. Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. Oh, the guy at the start. Okay. I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite, but they're chummy. What about the back door? Easy access? Unfortunately, no. The, they buzz people in using the intercom. Delivery truck usually arrives late in the evening. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? For as uh, for, far as I can tell, your typical, like, hype, catnip, and shatterfang. Oh, and get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. 
Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Hi, right, Squirrel Boy. I'm here for you. Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Mmm, me. Are you Johnny? Yeah, right. What do you need? Heard you got Monkey Bud? Got Shatterfang? Can you get me into the bite? Well, we want to get inside, so let's go with that one. Depends. Why? I want that stanky. <laughs> that sticky, icky, icky. Heard they got it in there. I'm a detective. My target is inside that club. What, are you serious? Prove it. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if it wasn't serious? No, scrap. I can't for now, you have to trust me. I don't trust no stripy mobster. Mmm. Weird hearing that from a squirrel, don't you find? Shut up, at least I don't smell like garbage. At least my mother's not slaving away in farmlands. <laughs> well, you're right, you actually smell pretty nice. To be frank, I'm just jealous. At least I don't need to deal with drugs to survive. Yeah? And what do you do to survive? I help people. That's when you need to get into that bar. A hero? And who's gonna save your dumbass? Well, I don't give two Fs. Shuffle your stripy feet then. Meet me at the entrance. Alright, see you there. Well, you know, we got him to move. Wasn't the most eloquent approach. Wasn't really too favorable, really, but, um, he moved. And there he is, with the bite. So, do we talk to the bouncer or talk to. Squirrel? Bouncer. What? Here's Johnny! Oh, Alright, we're doing that now. Hey Johnny, where you been? Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Alright, so we've made it inside, dude. This looks ridiculous. Let's give it inside. Look at the freaking smoke effect out there, too. I can't speak enough about how good this looks, man. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. All a little too high-end for my taste. Got Renee over here? Speak to Renee. Well, you're unusual. Sorry? You're unusual. It means you come with a story. I love a good story. Renee Wilson. Are you like a reporter or something or what? Um, Wallace, pleased to meet you. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. You would have said that no matter what name I gave. It's my grandfather's name. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Let's go with that one. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Yep, she was a reporter, I guess. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. This freaking bouncer's back here again. There's a second floor, too. Access restricted. Why? What's up there? VIP only. Access restricted. What? It's fairly stern about that. We have a door. Personnel only closed. And we cannot get upstairs. Clarissa. You look a little lost. That obvious? I wouldn't have bothered pointing it out otherwise. We'll give it away. You aren't exactly dressed for a night out, darling. Alright, I get it. You got me. So, then what brings you here today? Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Do I really seem like a type? There's an old saying about books and covers. One can never be too careful. Well, today's my cover is Raccoon in a Trench Coat. Not too troubled, in my humble opinion. Can't argue with that. How should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Wallace, nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine, Wallace. What do you do? Work at a publishing house? Do you enjoy reading? Quite. I'm Clarissa Bloodford. I own the bite. Ah, okay. I must say, you've got a great ambiance and lovely music. Oh, if I'd known, I would have been more watchful of my manners. Let's go with the first one. Thanks. I quite strive to offer high-quality entertainment the bite. And you excel at it. Say, do you have any leisure tips for a guy like me? I could arrange boy here to make something up for you. Some folks say that food from our chef is to die for. Or just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. What brought you here today in the first place? I was looking for an otter gentleman, Jeremy. Let's go with that one. 
And why are you meeting Jeremy at the bar tonight? Just for drinks. I don't believe you. I'm telling the truth. We're co-workers and we agreed to meet here. What's the problem? Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, you're doing a terrible job at being coy, and it's just in bad taste for my establishment. I would have to ask you to leave. I don't understand. I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, darling. That's how the world works. Sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you. Perhaps we'll be seeing each other again. Have a great night. I just got booted out this way. Oh, come on. It took me a long enough time to get inside. Bear man. New objective. Freaking Clarissa. Well, the bite staff is hiding something. Find a way back inside. I guess we'll probably have to go to Larry. But we are out of time, so I'm going to wrap it up right here for this one. This is um, really, really freaking impressive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information will be down below. It's a free download if you guys want to finish it up for your own time. If you want me to finish it, then um, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. And hey, I'll come back and wrap it up for us here. I will catch you next time.